Just for fun, how many books have you read so far? 65. Okay, so you're slacking. Cool. No, I'm ahead of schedule. I'm according just to According to Goodreads. I'm kidding. I'm seven books ahead. I swear I'm joking. <laughs> Our new booktube channel, The Bookish, Bookish Bees! Bees. Ta da! <laughs> we are two sisters who love talking about books almost as much as we love reading them. Yeah. So I'm Peyton. Um, I am a history major. I am a uh, book lover. Um, I am a shopkeeper and uh, I'm a Christian, and that about sums me up. And I'm Casey. I am the older sister. And I am an elementary education major. I am working to be a teacher. At the same time, I'm also a substitute teacher in my local school system and an admin assistant at our church. I'm also a uh, fine arts artist and graphic designer, which is really fun. I love to read, so I'm just glad that you and I can do this channel together as a fun, we wanted to do this as a fun summer experiment project that we can do together. Yeah. So because we're starting a new channel, we thought we would start off with the booktube newbie tag. Ah. So <laughs> so we're going to be going through a series of questions um, and we'll both be answering them together. Alright, so why did we start this channel? Uh, we started this as like a fun summer project for sisters to do together. Yeah, it's kind of an experiment. We wanted something something to try, something new to try. Right. We both, since we talk about books a lot together, we thought, well, maybe someone else might enjoy hearing those conversations. We also, we want to share our unique perspectives and recommendations. We have lots of books that we enjoy yeah. that we think you might as well. So we get a chance to talk to, about them to each other, as well as we can recommend some really interesting, unique books to you as a viewer. Save you the trouble of having to read them by yourself. Exactly. I also, it gives me a chance to enjoy, I love uh, making videos and editing them, so I get to do this as well. So next question. What are some fun and unique things that you bring to BookTube? Oh, huh, good question. Um, our sense of humor. I think you're pretty funny. Gorgeous smiles. Uh, and we hope to make you smile. <laughs> we also have two different tastes in books, so mm -hmm. that should create a lot of variety within the channel, so that's different. Yeah, Peyton likes classics, and I do not. Well, I don't mind them, I just, I like all kinds of genres, so you're gonna right. get more of a classical perspective from Peyton. From me, you'll get a different one, but we'll get into that more later. Alright, next question, what are you most excited about for this channel? I would say hanging out with my favorite book buddy would be very exciting. Well, that's also, that's a really good, I like that, so I'm gonna steal that too. <laughs> I'm also, I'm looking forward to, to getting to talk about books and to share my opinion. I'm actually not usually very good at talking about, which is funny because I'll be like, okay, Casey, what are you reading? Tell me all about it. And then she'll be like, I, I don't know. And then she'll well, ask me and I won't shut own. up. I just love talking about my books. I know, for me, I'm like reading right now. <laughs> I don't know, here's, you can look inside the jacket. There's a synopsis there you can check out. So this gives us a chance to actually bounce off and share right. our thoughts. So the next question is, why do you love reading? I, I think it's kind of an escapism for me. I love to read different stories. And also, especially with certain ones, you learn about different cultures and times in history. And I, I just I just love good storytelling. What about you? I love stories and I love different perspectives. So I don't want to admit that it's escapism, but I guess it is too. But uh, I'll just say it, yeah. <laughs> it's escapism. But I love like learning about different ways of looking at the world. I also really like stories that encourage me to um, be a better person and to um, think in better ways. So I love those kind of books and I love doing that through fiction. I also just really like to learn, which is why I read a lot of nonfiction. Impress people at parties with my random trivia knowledge. Next question. Is there a book or a series that got you into reading in the first place? Well, I've always loved to read, but I'm a slow reader. What really got me into reading more voraciously was actually audiobooks. Mm. I love audiobooks. I am a big believer in them. I don't listen to them as much now, but back then I was just listening to Audible constantly. And I also, I think the Reese Witherspoon Book Club, if any of y'all are familiar with that, I think there are some excellent, not all, I don't recommend all of them. I'm not giving an endorsement to every single book on there, on that list, but there are some very interesting stories that you can find on there if you take it 
with a discerning eye. For me, I started reading more when I was maybe nine or 10. I, I love those Christian books for girls, the life of faith and things like that. Um, I read a lot of those and I just sort of, oh, and then I started reading Sherlock Holmes when I was like 10 and that got me hooked. So I think I've just been reading more and more since then. You know, I started, maybe I read 25 books a year and then 50 books a year. And then last year I almost hit 100 and then this year I'm trying to do like 125. So I feel like each year I'm just like more and more books. Just for fun, how many books have you read so far? 60. Okay, so you're slacking. Cool. No, I'm ahead of schedule. I'm just kidding. According to Goodreads. I'm kidding. I'm seven books ahead. I swear I'm joking. <laughs> what questions would you ask other booktubers? Can we be buddies? I know, you wanna, <laughs> do you wanna be my friend? Yeah, you wanna hang out? <laughs> the next one is what challenges do you think that you would have starting a booktube channel? Well, thanks that I have you, who's so good at like the graphics and things and editing. So I have it super easy. My one difficulty will be not talking too long when it comes to books. I just want to talk and talk and talk. So that'll be my difficulty. How about you? I don't know. I guess it's getting my words together. I'm often tongue-tied as far as like, that, that is a thing about ADHD. Is someone could ask you about your day and you're literally like, I forgot my name. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so that, that, that is tricky. So I guess this is a good ex experiment for that. I can work on those skills. That should be very interesting to watch. Next question is when did you start reading? And don't say when you were like kindergarten because no. that doesn't count. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say that. I, I mentioned earlier that, I, um, that I've always loved reading, but I'd say that when I started with audiobooks, that was around spring 2019. Now, I think I already answered this question, so let's not be redundant, shall we? Where do you read? Ooh, mostly in this chair. I love yeah. my chair. Also bed, also outside of the park. I, sometimes we go to the park and read, and that is perfect. I don't know, I think the fresh air just stimulates reading. Yeah. Um, when she says this chair, we're actually in my room, but I moved the chair in here because I thought it looked so cool for this video. A great chair. And then I also do read during my lunch break a lot. I like to read on my bed mostly. It's just so cozy. Mm -hmm. But I also like to go outside and read on my lounge chair. Work on that's my tan. Nice. Yeah, that's fun. Next question. What kind of books do you like to read? So I like to read all kinds of books. Predominantly fantasy, mysteries, I love historical fiction. I'm not saying I like romance books, but I like books that have romance in them. I want a, I want a love story in my okay, books. Okay, we're not judging here. You don't have to be like, I want to say I like good romance. So I like um, the classics, obviously. I also really like classic mysteries. So 20th century golden age crime. Good Sherlock um, Holmes. Yes, well he's whimsy. Yes, oh my goodness, whimsy. We should have a whole video where I just talk about how much I love Lord Peter Whimsy. Go for it. And then I also do read nonfiction. So those are my three. So that is the booktube newbie tag. You're supposed to tag someone. So if you are new to booktube and would like to do this tag, uh, consider yourself officially tagged. Thank you so much for watching. If we have any other questions that we missed that you'd like to hear from us, anything especially book related, and any book recommendations that you may have, please leave them in the comments below. And be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and I'm Casey. I <laughs> Compose yourself. You're in the frame. So the questions we are about to ask are part okay, of- Okay, start over, sorry. I have my leg, I'm sorry, I have my leg and it makes it look fat in these pants. <laughs> okay. Ha ha ha. Yeah.